Satnam, this is Nahal Singh, and this is the meditation that we're going to do to help with situations like breaking up or some type of emotions that you may be feeling. Meditation is called to not feel abandoned, and it helps you to turn the page. Good Dave actually said it helps you to go next. Um, but anyway, with this, with breakups in general, one thing that's important and um, not very common knowledge, though, is that actually the spleen usually will, um, will react. The spleen has a lot to do with like deep-seated grief. And the spleen, so here's the stomach, and the spleen sits right around here. And you can actually feel like energetically the spleen could be like here, but it's just generally you might feel it around here. But it kind of feels like a, a tightness or a soreness or a tension. You might even feel a little bit of it on your back, but sometimes you can get confused with heart. I mean, it's much lower than the heart, but it can, that can actually be something that comes up in these kinds of situations. So, but especially also with, with breakups, we're dealing with the back of the heart too. And with the back of the heart has a lot to do with even past things. So in a situation like a breakup, it can actually bring up past emotions. It could be anything from like a parent's neglect or even past breakups that have happened. Um, in the end, it'll have to do with your self-identification, -identi um, neglect, or unworthiness feeling of love. But at the back of the heart, you can actually sometimes, it can feel like kind of numb and almost might affect the arm here. It might make it feel altogether pretty numb, but and some people have actually described the feeling of stab wounds back there. So this meditation can help with working with that and bringing up these kinds of emotions. But one thing that's important to note with this meditation or any other, um, there's no silver bolt, there's no magic wand. This isn't going to cure all your ails in one shot, but uh, over continual practice, it can help. It can help you not avoid these emotions and allow them to come up so that you can feel them, experience them, learn from them, and transcend them. So we'll start off with the meditation. So the, the mudra that you're going to be holding, it's you're going to take the hands like this, and you take the right over the left, and you're going to interlace these middle fingers. So it looks like this. So to explain this again, it's the thumb index and ring fingers are all sticking out. The middle finger and the ring finger are in. But when you bring them together, you're only interlacing the two middle fingers. So if all the other fingers were removed, it's going to look like this. Only these two fingers are interlocked, and it's kind of like a bear grip, so you're kind of creating a little tension here. So take the hands like this, bring them together, interlace only those two fingers. Everything else is sticking out. And it's a straight line pretty much from elbow to elbow and you're creating a little bit of tension. And there's two parts of this meditation and both you're holding the same mudra. But the first part is chanting Gobinda Gobinda Hari Hari. And that's chanted for three to six minutes. And the next part of it is Rama Dasa and that's done for 11 minutes. We're going to use Sanatan Kar for both mantras. One thing that's important to know is with Gobinda Gobinda Hari Hari, there's actually a period where it's just instrumentation and you can get two rounds of Gobinda Gobinda Hari Hari in there. And then we'll move on to Rama Dasa. For this demonstration, we're just going to do both parts for three minutes only for a total of six minutes, but when you're doing it at home, you can do the um, meditation for three to six minutes for Gobinda Gobinda Hari Hari and 11 minutes for Rama Dasa. So, Let's take the hands, bring them together, interlace only those two middle fingers, creating a little tension, straight line between the elbows, straighten the spine, tuck the chin, and your eyes are closed and looking only at the tip of the nose. And we'll begin. Gobinda, Gobinda, Hari, Hari. Gobinda, Gobinda, Hari. Hari, Gobinda, Gobinda, Hari, Hari, 
Govinda, Govinda, Hari, Hari, Govinda, Govinda, Hari, Hari, Govinda, Govinda, Hari, Hari, Govinda, Govinda, Hari, Hari.
and inhale deeply. Squeezing Mulbon, squeezing the rectum, sex organs, and navel point. Hold this breath in and squeeze tight. Hold this position. Now exhale. Inhale deeply. Squeeze, plying Mulbon. Squeeze and hold. Hold this position. Now exhale. One last time. Inhale deeply. And squeeze, plying Mulbon. Squeeze and hold. And very slowly, now exhale. Relax the hands down into Gyan Mudra. And just return to regular breathing. And inhale. And exhale. So hopefully that meditation can help you going through a difficult time that you're going through or any similar type of events um, and that this meditation can help bring some comfort. So thank you so much for joining and Satnam.